Guitar Hero of the late 60s. Um, what? What? Sorry, afraid so. <laughs> you have to live with it. Um, people like Eric Clapton. I mean, he's a lunatic. Yeah, and people like. There are no other people really no. like you and Eric. He seems to have found his niche and almost mm. have gone back to blues. You have tended more towards towards jazz, is that right? Mm, it, jazz is something that uh, you, you have to sort of define. You can't just mm. say, oh, that's jazz, just because some guy's playing a fast lick in a rock tune. And that's what it does happen. Pe people do misinterpret. Mm. So you don't playing. like I was veering, I must admit, I was veering towards some sort of mm. jazz, but... Uh, it's really, it's just electric rock, you know, high, high, high powered rock and very explicit rock. An extreme high refrain at the end, which is the same melody, but on an octave way off the scale. And he said, you've got to play that. And I went, no, 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 no. I said, but I haven't got enough frets. He said, well, what about the bottleneck? And I tried it on the bottleneck and it is the most brutal thing to keep in tune. When you get up to the last sort of six inches, every micro inch of movement is about an octave in itself. <laughs> Try it one time, you know. I think he is the, well, the most unique guitar player. And the most, uh, probably the most devoted. I mean, from what I know of Jeff, you know, he's either fixing his cars or playing the guitar. There's no in-between for him. Uh, and he actually has never changed. And he, he, I mean, unlike myself, who's been kind of wandering around a lot of the time, uh, dabbling in this and that and being led astray, Jeff has been very consistent. In